Hey there, this is um, a project we're going to work on. We're going to use maps to calculate percents and fractions. Um, this is going to be done over a couple of days. So this is the part one, um, what I want you to work on. And I'm going to walk you through it. And you're going to actually um, create a map. So I'm going to click on this right now, um, the next page. So you're going to create a new map. You're going to, I'm going to give you this whole Google Slides. You're going to click on this um, Google My Maps. And when you click on that, this will pop up and you're going to create a new map. Um, we're actually going to um, use percents and fractions and look at Bookdale High School. Um, so in the uh, search once after you click um, create a new map you're going to go in and search for I think you can just google in that book to high school and this pops up and I know it's kind of light but you should at least get something that looks similar to this um, that shows um, um, book to high school in the map so again first thing you do is you click on this link it should get it from this document um, a new window will pop up and you're going to create a new map and when you go in there, you're going to, again, Google, or not Google, you're going to put in the search bar, type in there, um, Bookdale High School, and this should pop up. Um, so the next thing, um, what you do when you have that screen open, is you are going to change the map to satellite view. Um, so um, when you are in there, you'll see on the left top this thing that says base map, and you click on the drop down and Click this one and it will show you um, not the white background, but it'll show you the map of Bookdale High School. So again, that's called base map and you click on it and all these different maps drop down. You pick this one right here. Um, so then it will look something like this. So you should see all of Bookdale High School. We're going to use basically from Copley Road and then I just drew a line. We're going to exclude those houses. There are a couple of houses here. Um, maybe a little right here, but we're going to just pretend those are grass. So you should get something that looks like this. I will show you on my map um, what it looks like right here. So um, you can move the map around. Um, this right here is where I showed you where base map was, and you click that, and that's how you get to see all these houses and all the good stuff. All right, so you're going to get something that looks like this. This is where you type in Bookdale High School. Um, so it should come up and look like this. I drew this white line around it and I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, I've actually done a couple of lines or a couple of um, objects. You can see as I hover over them, um, I called this football field one. Um, I put parking lot one, um, the par school one because we have a composite figure. Um, so I'm going to show you just a second. I'll explain this in more detail give me one second so what you're going to do is you're going to start measuring i want you to measure the total perimeter and i showed you that the school buildings um those are composite figures so i should we should have at least three parts of the building to put together to make a rectangle um, parking lot one there are two parking lots and there's a football field one and two um i'm not sure if it's a soccer field but from the aerial view it looks like it could be used as a soccer field or a football field um, so you're going to use this tool at the top. I showed you um, this is a drawing tool. So this will draw straight lines for you. And I will give you an example of how to do that. So on my map, I've already done a couple of these. I'll show you how to use this tool right here. And I'm going to grab, um, let's do football field two. Um, so I'm going to draw a line or shape. And you just click one time here, oops, and it draws that line. When I let go of my mouse, it puts that dot. And if I go all the way around and create a shape, what pops up, sorry, this little, is I'm going to name it football field two. And save it. When I do that, you can see on this shows me it is 1.49. This AC means acres. It is telling me the perimeter in feet, 1.102 feet. So that's just this field, and I can go ahead and save it. And I'll show you um, maybe football field one is 2.81 acres. And the perimeter, this one gives it in miles. So it's a little bit bigger. 
Again, these are estimates. I can probably clean this shape up a little bit better. Um, but this is how you um, do the, uh, these shapes. Let me show you one more. So I see this other parking lot right here. I'll show you again how to do this. We add a liner shape, go like this. I'll try and make it straight. And we're using estimates. So I know there's like a driveway and maybe a little parking somewhere else, but we're just gonna use um, these as estimates. So here's the shape, I'll call it parking lot two. I'll just call it parking two. Um, and I save it. And it is telling me that's 1.11 acre. And it's the perimeter is 8.98 feet. Um, you're gonna need to use those. So if you wanna go back, you can see everything that I've done so far has a white line around it. So the total, if you wanna see the total, you go over here and click, and it'll tell you it's 22 acres and the perimeter is 0.793 miles. So you're gonna do this, create it. You name these and you'll put them there. Um, it will save for you. Let me go back to my PowerPoint. Um, so when you get those done, um, again, I showed you where you can find the totals if you click on those. Um, this is where you would find um, the ones that you've created. You can come back to it. So you're gonna collect the data. And what are you gonna do with that? You're gonna fill in this um, document right here. So let's say it's parking lot one. I'm gonna go and find the perimeter of parking lot one. So it's 1.18 acre. I'll write this down, 1.18 1 acre and 1114 feet perimeter. So as you can see, we already have feet and miles. So we're gonna have to convert to miles. So parking lot is 1.18 acre. And we have um, 1,000. feet and you're going to have to convert that to miles. Um, so I need you to fill out this document and that will be the part one that you're going to work on. I will go over this in a live um, class to describe it, but you will also be given this whole document. Part two, I will let you see um, in the future, you're going to actually create using your perimeter and area, you're going to um, calculate the percent of the total and the fraction um, of the area. So we're gonna do that, and then we're gonna do a little bit of data analysis, but I will get back to that in part two. So again, part one, you're going to go in and you're going to find um, Folktel High School on the map. Um, you're gonna go ahead and draw these buildings and fill in. So for part one, I need you to fill in this document. So. Um, I went through and did mine. Again, we're gonna have to convert this to miles. Um, if you have questions, you can email me um, anytime and I can give help in the live class.